First, he's accused of luring a young girl for sex. Now the director of the Adams 14 School Board is behind bars. Now, this is Robert Vashon, and right now he's being held without bail. Denver 7's Molly Hendrickson is digging into this, which started online, Molly. Yeah, we found out about this as a tip to Denver 7. You know, these days people can access kids through so many channels. You have Snapchat, Facebook, even Craigslist. Now, police say Vashaw thought he was talking to a young girl. Little did he know they were on the other end. Hi there. Hi. I'm Molly with Denver 7. Does Robert Vashaw live here? Yeah, but he's not here. At the Adams 14 board director's home, even Robert Vashaw's girlfriend was in the dark, unaware he was in jail, arrested during an internet child sex sting. He's been arrested for um, attempted sex assault of a child and internet luring of a child. That does not sound like him at all. It doesn't sound like him? No. Aurora police say Vasha met who he thought was a young girl online. He planned to meet her for sex at a motel when police swooped in Friday morning. Well, it's pretty scary. Police say no kids from the district were involved in the alleged crimes. Vasha, who served on the school board for at least nine years, describes himself online as a strong community leader. Still, neighbors are shocked. Seemed like a nice guy. I've, I've only talked to him about twice. There are several children on the street that, um, yeah, definitely we should be concerned. Tonight, the school district released this short statement saying, in part, we have been made aware of some allegations brought forward involving a board member. However, we do not have any details on the situation. We are allowing the appropriate law enforcement agency to handle this matter. You may remember Vashaw was the board president back in 2013 when the district paid nearly a million dollars over sexism and discrimination issues. Vashaw is expected in court on Monday. We're live in the newsroom, Molly Hendrickson, Denver 7. Thanks, Molly.